right now. Soccer fans here in South Florida are out at watch parties ahead of tonight's game. CBS 4's Aurelio Ortega is live at Fritz and Franz in Coral Gables. Aurelio, what's going on down there? Well, Mike, like you mentioned, the game is less than a half hour away, but take a look at how packed this place is. The staff here at Fritz and Front's Beer House has set up this extra outdoor space with extra food stations and extra bars, but most importantly, a huge screen to catch all the action. Every World Cup, European Cup, that we put all the names of the participants up there. As the teams go out of the tournament, as they lose, we take the flags down until the last day when there's only two flags left. Those two flags, USA and Japan. Fans of both nations have started arriving at Fritz and Franz Beer House in Coral Gables, who are eager for a rematch four years in the making. This game is so exciting because in 2011, they were so close against the Japanese and they lost by a nail. Aki Shirosa is certain Japan will take the championship once again. It's like a different tactics for both of them. You know, Americans had str uh, very strong and agile, but uh, we're more, you know, technical. Do you have a prediction about what the score is going to be? Oh, man, that's going to be hard. It's probably going to be like probably 2 2 and then the shootout again or something. But Travis Stokes thinks Japan won't get a chance to score. My prediction on the score will probably be 2-0. Um, um, I think the USA has been a scoring machine and they really play team soccer. Whatever the outcome, Fritz and Franz Beer House has extra staffing on hand as well as extra space to make sure the hundreds of fans who are expected have a great time. We are fully staffed. We will have two open bars. We will have a food station outside. And this is no way that anybody would miss the game, miss a goal in the beer house because we have 28 screen and one 16 foot screen. And back out here live, you can see how patriotic this crowd looks on this 4th of July weekend. So you can imagine how this place is going to explode if Team USA takes the victory tonight. Fingers crossed. Reporting live in Coral Gables, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. All right, Aurelia, thank you.